What up guys? So I'm at Best Buy right now because we're about to move. So you know I'm gonna need a bunch of different appliances. And the main thing is that we cannot live without is a washer or dryer. But you know me, I have to check out the fun stuff first. So I'm looking at TV, home theater, that kind of stuff. And not every Best Buy is the same guy. So behind me is the Magnolia Center. And that's for like the super high end stuff. And I just went on a whim. I was like, hey, if I go to a, a Best Buy with a higher and center are they gonna be able to give me better service and the answer is a million percent yes so what they hooked me up with is this home advisory service because you know our living room looks pretty big so they're gonna come and actually um and check out the acoustics of the home the living room the wiring even the voltage to see what's gonna be the best bet and work under my budget because i do want something sick but i have a lot of things i gotta buy i gotta buy washer i gotta buy dryer so i don't want to um break the bank and I still want to get a sick TV because that's going to be the center point of the home and so far what they've told me is this they told me that um, I'm going to pretend like I'm checking out stuff so they don't catch me vlogging but what they told me is um, uh, they're going to come over to my house and look at all the specs of my home I already told you guys that but uh, also they're going to be able to wrap up everything the washer dryer the home theater system and the tv and give me a fat discount so that's something that's not really publicly publicly advertised so if i were you guys if you're looking to buy a bunch of stuff for your new home like a bunch of appliances all at once i would ask them for that because then at the end of it they're gonna give you one fat discount across everything and they told me i might be able to save thousands because i am buying a shit ton so I think that's super, super cool. And just the amount of service I was able to get from the Magnolia Center was way different, dude. Like, uh, shit. I'm trying to set it on this toaster oven right here. <laughs> so usually they, uh, like, I went to another Best Buy close to my current house, and they just kind of brushed me off. Like, I was like, hey, I'm looking for a home theater system. I talked to a specialist. Like, that's me. I started asking questions. I didn't know anything. The one here, he goes, hey, I'm the specialist. And he started answering all the questions that I have to a very high level even more than I know and I know a lot about home theater and then he was telling me about consumer reports for certain brands he was telling me about what the next upcoming technology is going to be so look out for this so don't invest in this because in a year or two this is going to go down the technology will surpass whatever and I'm like dude that's so awesome so not all Best Buys are the same I know on JK News I talk shit about Best Buy a lot I take it all back find ones with Magnolia in it and I think it will really change the way you view the service. Like so far, me just walking around, the reason why I'm scared of vlogging in here and not the other Best Buy, is everywhere I turn a corner, someone goes, hey, do you need help, do you need help? And I'm like, dude, I've never experienced that before. Usually they just let me walk around and they're most scared of questions. So I love this one. But uh, now I gotta go check out uh, some washer and dryer combos. So I just found this out, that LG is America's number one front load washer winner for eight years running. So I think I'm gonna go with the LG because uh, they had this consumer report, which is third party, which is really important. But pretty much the top eight are all LG. Then comes Maytag, then comes LG again, and then Samsung. And so in terms of something that's extremely reliable for the family, I don't think you can beat this. And also I'm looking for something with a huge capacity because where our family's growing, I want something that's five, uh, what is it called? Like five point five cubic feet and above this one's it this one's even kind of cool because even has a bottom separate washer for like baby clothes or socks or like panties or whatever so what's blowing my mind is i never thought that washer and dryer technology would even progress because i feel like like what more can you do and then now you have ones that have separate washer and dryer i mean a separate washer in them and i've even seen dryers that have two dryers built in so that's really nuts so I'm looking to get a TV that's this size for our living room. That thing is uh, 85 inches, so it's freaking huge. You can see how big the screen is if you sit this far. But hands down, the best TV so far is this OLED, is what the guy explained to me. Because uh, each individual pixel shuts off, so the blacks are true, true blacks, but they're hella expensive. And right now, um, they only make it up to 77 inches. Uh, if you want OLED and it's 8G's so I'm not about to spend 8G's on just one TV when I think my total budget for uh, washer dryer home theater and TV is gonna be under 10 but I would love to but if you guys are looking for the sharpest clearest uh, screen possible like your phone 
like a big version of your phone. Oh, cool, Marbury just texted me. Then I would go with OLED. I just went to uh, the PetSmart in the same plaza because uh, I might have to start giving Meatloaf a bath because the um, current dog grooming place, they were, they were saying that he's getting pretty antsy now. So in the beginning, we used to drop him off and he was fine. And then now he would get antsy where he would like start biting on the grate of the crate. And then uh, we put him on express wash, which means um, within an hour we have to come pick him up or else he starts causing problems like biting the leash. And then now it's, he has to come immediately. So I think I'm just gonna remove him completely because I just don't think he feels that comfortable with strangers. So I was looking to see if there's uh, some pet coves or pet smarts, they got like a dog washing station. So I'm seeing if this one had it, but they don't. What they do have is like a pet hotel. So that's crazy, that's super high end too. I wonder if like high end pet smarts and high end, um, high end, uh, what is it called? Uh, Best Buys just work together well. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but when I was inside that Best Buy, I was actually really scared because I love vlogging, I love sharing my life with you, but I'm always scared for someone to come and confiscate my camera and tell me to stop vlogging. So I don't know if I know if I got all the information out. Um, I know I told you guys I'm looking for TV, sound system, and washer and dryer. And uh, the main thing I want to get across to you guys that I found out is, I, mean, I don't even know if I said that in there because I'm just kind of rambling and rambling, but if you guys are looking to buy a bunch of stuff for wherever you're going to move into, tell them that you're going to buy a bunch of stuff and they can give you a fat discount off the dog. I think I do remember telling you guys because you could save a lot of money. And um, I talked to all the managers of each department and they're going to combine forces and figure out what the best bet is. And then tomorrow, um, the home advisory person is going to come to our new house and check now, out the acoustic. Shut into up. It so that what the warn hell? You. Um, that was Joe Rogan on the podcast. Uh, yeah, and they're gonna give me. A, they're gonna see what my home needs, and then I'm gonna listen to what they say, and then combine it all together, and then hopefully get one fat deal. But now I'm gonna go home now. But first, I gotta pick up some milk for the little tiny. All right, now that I've been driving and have been able to finally relax a little bit and not be all scared, I found the right words to describe these Best Buy guys. They're like Apple employees. Isn't that crazy? Because you know when you go into Apple, right? It's like everyone's an expert. Even though you go to Genius Brain to get actual expert advice, like anyone that you ask about the watch, the phone, the computers, everyone knows everything. Everyone's a big fan of the products. I think that's the biggest thing. When I go to Best Buy, I can sense that they don't even want that job, that they're just going to community college. It's the only place that was going to take them. And then they have to memorize a few specs about HDMI cables, but they don't give a shit about cables, you know? This one I went into in both the Magnolia, which is the home theater section, and also the appliances. He was a big fan of appliances. Like, he was telling me about how LG is the best. He was telling me about the second, like, best bang for the buck is definitely Whirlpool. Uh, the amount of customers that comes in, he keeps track of how many repairs people get, and he's just reading up on the industry. And same thing with uh, the people in the home theater. Like, he was telling me, honestly, if he had all the money in the world, he would get this brand called Bowers and Wilkinson and just out of his own interest he took me into the studio and, and then he was like one of these speakers is 2500 I was like okay if one of them is 2500 I definitely kind of bored this he goes but just listen to it he just wanted me to hear how clear it was and I purposely dressed down like I just wear workout clothes barber brigade stuff just so uh, people don't think I have money and they try to upsell me I'm just going looking like a, like a regular college student and he was spending the time to play music to play movies, to play all that stuff. And I'm like, man, every Best Buy should be like this. Everyone should be an enthusiast. So I, I just wanted to give this Best Buy like some good praise and shout outs because I know they don't get the best press all the time, especially for me. I talk shit because the one next to my house sucks. Um, but this one is really, really good. I'm at Home Depot now. I got to pick up a couple of boxes because I'm in charge of packing the garage. So I'm probably gonna get a couple of big ones. I'm kind of scared though, because I think I'm gonna put all of my ammo into a big box. But the problem is, um, ammo's really heavy, so when the movers come, they might lift up the box and go, oh shoot, like what's inside? That's so heavy, so maybe I should get a couple of medium to small size boxes maybe? I don't know, but for sure I have to get the heavy duty ones. But they got all kinds of stuff for moving and packing at Home Depot. They got like the bubble wrap that I showed you guys the other day. They got like all that foam paper over there. 
They even got tarp if you need tarp to cover things up. Butcher paper. There's all kinds of really cool stuff. Carpet film in case you need to like walk over the carpet a million times. You don't want to damage it. Lots of stuff here. The moving section is blossoming. They got that wrap I showed you guys the other day. They even got, the, oh, this is the thing that Mavro was using to put all our cups in. There's this for dishes. This is just straight up sleeves. Isn't that cool? Sort of pre-made sleeves, sofa protector, picture bag. You just slide your picture in there. Pretty dope. Mattress bag, all kinds of stuff here. My bear so cuny. She got me lunch while I was gone. And she got me shrimp. Oh, chicken. Not that I have anything against shrimp. She's, she never gets me shrimp. Ooh, chicken and beef. Hell yeah. Meanwhile, Ma Bear's over there with Taika Malika, trying to put him to sleep. Cause he was falling out, falling asleep while I was eating. This is how Ma Bear puts Taika to sleep. Mm -hmm. So I bought a bunch of these boxes. Um, I think my strategy is gonna be to probably load up. And I'm being quiet right now because uh, they're trying to put Tiger to sleep still. It's probably a lot of all the ammo down there first. So I have a ton of ammo. And since that's really heavy and I'm working with limited space, I think I'm gonna load up the ammo and the boxes here first on the ground. And then that way, as I load up the lighter stuff, like the sleeping bag, the packs and stuff, I can pack it high. And then eventually I'll pack all the shoes and pack them all high. But I think initially that might be the best bet. Cause if I pack like the packs and stuff first, then if I put the ammo on top of it, it's gonna crush it. And uh, I'm working with limited space, as I'm saying. I feel like the garage would be easy to pack. Cause a lot of stuff's already in boxes. Like we have uh, some camping stuff up there in the bins. My gun cases in bins. Um, we have like extra Christmas lights up there in a bin. All stuff's in bins. Well, we do have to pack these things, which I think that should be pretty easy. But my goal. If I can get like all of this whole row done by today, I'll be pretty happy. I just hope I bought the right size boxes because I just gamble. I bought a bunch of extra large ones and hopefully they fit. Mid packing, my dad came over and Taika hasn't seen my dad in a long time since Japan for like probably like a good two weeks. And he loves my dad so much and he was so happy to see my dad. I wish I could have captured it. But I was really just enjoying the moment, so I didn't want to turn on the camera. But my dad loves his ass so much, too. It's so cute to see them together. I miss all y'all, yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah? No, yeah, yeah? Yeah, good job! Yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah? Yeah! Yeah, yeah? Baba? 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 Yeah, Baba. Tata? Yeah, yeah? No, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good job. My dad said he's just been growing a lot. <laughs> he has his little Crocs on. Cutie. All right, here's the progress report. Um, I got these four things completely loaded up. And I actually made these myself. So I was like, why are these things only half length? So I connected them. You can see with the plastic to make it full length. So I wanted to be able to store longer stuff like luggage, tents and stuff. So I made four of these. So in here you'll see I got my camping gear, my snorkeling gear, my luggage, my uh, air mattress for camping, Marlboro shoes. So I was able to clear all that so far. I got miscellaneous gun stuff. And then I have um, uh, my gun bags down here. And now it's time to now it's time to actually uh, pack my guns. This is the scary part because I need to have a leap of faith because I do want to empty everything where everything is ready to move. 
So that means that for one night, my guns are gonna be out of the safe. So hope I don't get jacked out one night because I have a lot, a lot of guns. Check it out. So I have three ARs in here. The fourth one is a friend's. Got two sniper rifles, a scar. Have two DP-12s, a shit ton of pistols. And then I have an MPX, I got an upper receiver. I got a lot of stuff. So I gotta pack these guys into those bags. And I'll probably store those things in a car and then store my car in a garage. So it's like security on security on security, even though it really isn't, because nothing really beats the safe. But that's um, the best that I can do for now. Yeah, leap of faith. Please don't jack me, please. Look at this little maniac. Freaking maniac. <gasps> You're eating apple? He knows an apple. How to say apple in Spanish? I mean, I just told him and he showed it to you. Damn. Hey. I like how he just sits there hey, too with his little legs. Like, Ooh, trilingual. Ooh. What about your sweba? Sweba. 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 With a Z. Sweba. This one. Your little juicy lips. Yeah. There you go. Good job. Sweba. Como le hace el perro? ¿Cómo le hace el perro? ¿Cómo le hace el ¿Cómo me llamo yo? Gio. ¿Cómo se llama él? Fuck. Fuck. Good job. ¿Cómo se llama tu grandma? Leti. Yep. Good job. ¿Cómo te llamas tú? Yep. Wow, so smart. Whenever I order to go sushi, I'm always so scared because it's such a gamble. But this place actually looks good. Check it out. So I got a yellowtail belly with salmon. That looks pretty good. Some person's calling me. You ain't cool. It's my dad. I'll talk to you in a little bit because I'm vlogging. Um, and then we got I got some uh, albacore. I got some snapper. Wow, this actually looks good. You know what the name of this place is, Mama? Dykes. Daiki sushi. Oh shit. Oh, I got a uh, cucumber uh, miso salad. Yeah. Oh, miso salad. Oh, miso salad. And then um, I think this might. Oh, you might have to hook up the udizi. Ooh, udon damn, it's actually safe beef safe. chunks. Oh shit. I got beef udon, and then I also got a uh, temperizis. Temperizis. Temperizis up in here. Temperizis. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It does look really good. Are you what ready? Is that? Oh, that's just a different type of mushroom. That looks. <laughs> you big uni. Yeah, actually oh, looks bad. I might order I might order from Daiki Sushi more. <laughs> okay, I'm about wrapping up for the day. And I see Marlboro on the couch. And uh what are you hiding? What are you hiding? <laughs> are you Aha! I found it. My watch. <laughs> So I see Marlboro style, and I like what she has going on. And I think we're gonna watch the Game of Thrones documentary because we haven't seen that part yet. So um, we're gonna spend the rest of the CUNY day together, being extremely CUNY with each other. Um, and today I met um, a member at the gym, and he told me, he was like, hey man, like I've been married for four years now, which is longer than me and Gio. And he was like, I really appreciate that podcast of you and Gio where you guys are talking about the relationship and about how you really have to nurture it. Because if you don't and you just go on cruise control and become complacent, it's easy to grow apart, especially in this day and age when everyone has so many interests. I'm like, yeah, that's what me and Gio found out. So um, as busy as we get, as crazy as it is, we still do our best to nurture our relationship and not just um, each other, but also the ones with their family and stuff and friends too. That's really important. But um, if you guys don't know, we do have a podcast and we talk about all kinds of things from love to business and we have our guests, our friends on and we also uh, just do it just me and Gio. So go check that out. It's on iTunes and it's also on this channel when we post up and it's called podcast. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.